Hello, I'm Philippe Castillo and in this video I'll show you how to automate a garage door using a Shelly 1. By the end of this video, you'll be able to open it using both the original remote as well as your phone with the Shelly app. Even the cat is impressed. Meow. At the end please leave a like if you found this video useful and maybe subscribe for more videos like this one. In order to complete this project, you'll need a Shelly 1 as well as the set of tools shown here. For simplicity, I've already prepared all the wires and cut them to the right size. In order to make the assembly into the gate circuit board easier, I'll connect all the wires to the Shelly 1 right now. The first part is to join the wires I'll use to connect the Shelly to the line input. Then the same for the neutral. Now let's attach all four wires to the Shelly. First the blue wire to the Shelly neutral input. Then the brown wire to the Shelly line input. Then one of the brown wires to the Shelly I input. And finally the last brown wire to the Shelly O input. In order to make it easier to connect the Shelly to the circuit board, rotate the O and the I wires 180 degrees. Make sure everything is properly screwed. Before removing the garage motor cover, make sure it is disconnected from the main power. Then remove the garage motor cover. Once the garage door motor is exposed, it's time to check the manual and see where to connect the Shelly. Most installation manuals have a diagram of the circuit board. This one is a DTEC TOP 903H. Now let's review the connections. We will connect the Shelly I to the input mark with the number 15. Then we will connect the Shelly O to the input mark with the number 14. Afterwards we'll connect the Shelly L to the garage circuit board L input. Finally, we'll connect the Shelly N input to the garage circuit board N input. Here is again the wiring diagram but with a real picture from the garage circuit board. Here is a close up of the place where we'll make the Shelly input and output connections. And a close up of where Shelly neutral and line will go. Now let's connect Shelly input to the input number 15. And now let's connect Shelly output to the input number 14. Time now to connect Shelly line to the line input on the garage motor. And now the Shelly neutral to the neutral input on the garage motor. Now let's tidy the Shelly so that it fits once we put back the garage motor cover. And now let's look at some close-ups to see the end result. Here's a view from directly underneath the garage motor. Here's a view from the input and output connections. And finally a view from the neutral and line connections. Let's connect the garage motor so that we can add the Shelly 1 to the Shelly app. Now switch to your phone and make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Then go to your Wi-Fi and notice there is a new device with the name Shelly 1. Now go to the Shelly app. Tap on the top left menu, tap on Add Device, add your Wi-Fi name and password, mine was already filled, tap Next, select the Shelly 1 as the device type, tap Join so that the inclusion process starts and the Shelly is added to your Wi-Fi. Wait a few seconds. Once the process is finished, you'll see a confirmation message and then you'll see the Discover Devices. Tap on it, tap on Click to Add, Give the device a name, let's be creative. Select the room where you want your device to go. Then select a picture, either a default one or one that you previously took. Set the relay usage as relay. Tap on save device. Select yes to add the device to the cloud. That's it, now let's configure it. Tap on it, tap on the timer button then tap on the auto off and set it to a very low value. 
The idea is that Shelly sends a very short signal acting as a trigger to open or close the garage door. Tap save. Tap settings. Then tap on button settings, make sure it's a edge switch. Then set off for the power on default mode. And that's it. Now it's finally time to test. Let's first open the door. Let's make it stop. And now let's close. Awesome, everything seems to work perfectly. Last step is to put the cover back in the garage motor and we're done. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys!